Bacteria typically live out their teeny tiny lives in the microscopic realm, but now scientists have found a gargantuan one the size and shape of a human eyelash. The new find is by far the largest bacteria known to date, says Jean-Marie Volland of Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and the Laboratory for Research in Complex Systems. These bacteria are about 5. 000 times larger than most bacteria. To put things into perspective, he added, it is the equivalent for us humans to encounter another human who would be as tall as Mount Everest. The roughly one centimeter behemoth somehow attaches itself to sunken leaves in Karibi. The scientist who initially collected the thin white filaments had no idea that had discovered a new kind of bacteria visible to the naked eye. But a lab examination showed that they didn't have key features of plant or animal cells, and a genetic analysis soon revealed their true nature. They're related to other bacteria that also make a living off of sulfur and grow large, but not this large. Now called Thio Margarita Magnifica, these bacteria haven't yet been grown in the lab. So much about their lifestyle remains mysterious, including what advantage they get in their underwater environment by growing to such a stupendous size. In addition to challenging old ideas about the maximum possible size, each of these bacteria organizes its innards in an unusually advanced way. Instead of allowing genetic material to float around freely, like other bacteria do, these beings wrap it up and contain it within a kind of package. This is similar to what's done in more complex kinds of cells, like those that make up plants and animals. Voland cautions that this doesn't mean these bacteria are some kind of missing link between simple forms of life and more complex ones saying it's just a fascinating example of a bacterium that has evolved a higher level of complexity. Still, finding this inside bacteria, along with their amazing. Their work underlines that the microbial world continues to amaze us. These bacteria can't even rightly be called microbes, because microbes are by definition microscopic, points out Peter Ann Levin of Washington University in St. Louis, who wrote the commentary accompanying the new report. What's more, while most bacteria reproduce by dividing into two identical cells, these long, filament-like creatures seem to reproduce by budding off one small piece at the tip that can then float away and go on to create a whole new being.